Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you are running Windows 10 and find yourself using the Photos app, then I may have good news because Microsoft on the 22nd, which was yesterday in my region, announced that they are beginning to roll out to Windows Insiders in all channels, including Windows Ins Insiders on Windows 10 in the Release Preview channel, a Photos app update, which means that you will be getting features like background blur, background removal, replacing your background, and spot fix, which is now been renamed and upgraded to generative erase. And that's with um, the app update to version 2024.11020.21001.0 or higher. And this is just another indication that Microsoft is giving Windows 10 a lot more focus and attention. And this is just another Windows 11 feature now that's making its way over to Windows 10. And we are expecting the next um, bug fix updates rolling out for Windows 10 and Windows 11 to roll out next week on the 27th. So there's a good chance that this app update will be made available around about that time. And the other news, in case you're interested, is, is the Photos app, app update is also available for ARM64 devices, not just Windows 10. So um, that's a nice move in the right direction, which was previously not the case. Now, just to demonstrate, I'm going to head over to some GIFs and screenshots provided by Microsoft from the release notes. And here we can see a before and after picture regarding um, what the photo looked like uh, originally on the left and then after using generative erase and a couple of the AR features now. And this is the after on the right. Now, um, Spotfix, they say with the help of AR, is now known as generative erase in the Photos app. And basically, and as we can see, this feature allows you to fix and remove distractions from your photos like background objects or miscellaneous visual clutter. Microsoft says that compared to Spotfix, generative erase creates a more seamless and realistic result after objects are erased from the photo, even when erasing large areas. And how this will all work to use generative, a generative erase, you go to edit image and select the erase option. You brush over the objects or areas you want to remove, adjust the brush size to get the right level of precision you need, as we can see in the screenshot provided. And then moving on to the next, they also say that for even finer control or removing multiple objects at once, you can disable auto apply to add or remove masks where each mask represents an area that will be erased. So a lot going on here with AR and this generative uh, erase that's now replaced spot fix. Now other fixes and improvements, Microsoft says all of the current Photos app AR edit features, including blur background, remove and replace background, and generative erase are now available in the Photos app for Windows 11 for ARM64 devices. And for the first time, as mentioned, Windows 10 will be receiving all of the AR editing features that were previously available only on Windows 11, including blur background, remove and replace background, and generative erase. And this app update will also include various stability fixes and improvements. So there we go, another Windows 11 app and generative AR and AR features making their way into Windows 10. And as mentioned, I think we could expect uh, these Windows 11 Photos app features to start rolling out as early as uh, next week, the 27th, which will be Tuesday, the 27th of February, 2024. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.